And it's been a huge engineering, a uh, huge piece of engineering work to get to this point and to be able to, to showcase the Mark III to the world and show that, that flying car racing is, uh, is just around the corner. We don't need a track. So we're, um, uh, we're able to, to have zero impact, which means we can go to some of the most beautiful places in the world and race. But ultimately we see this as an important, um, an important system that can really change how air traffic control, automated, automated air traffic control can be done in the wild, um, in, in industry later on. This as motorsport in the sky. So you're going to have multiple vehicles in the air at the same time. That has been done with, with uh, air races in the past, but um, with a multi-copter, you have another level of control. Um, so you can't do this with a, with a racing plane. What this means is we can get vehicles within meters of each other and create this kind of virtual force field. It's incredibly intensive on the, uh, on the computing side, the onboard computing, the, the connectivity, the latency between the, in the, the communications links between the vehicles, all of that is being pushed to its limits. But ultimately, we see this as an important, um, an important system that can really change how air traffic control, automated, automated air traffic control can be done in the wild, um, in, in industry later on. This is, a, this is a stepping stone on the way to, to crude flight. And it's, it's an essential stepping stone. I don't think there's any other way to get where we're going um, without, uh, without going through this path. So the EXA series will always be a feeder series to the, um, the main air speeder event and the, the crude racing that, that will be coming. Um, and the cool thing is that it'll always be with full-size vehicles uh, with uh, you know, fully functional um, electric flying cars, just remotely piloted for now. Um, and so I look back at uh, you know, the, what happened 100 years ago or over 100 years ago in the last great mobility revolutions when the dawn of the, the automobile and, uh, and the airplane and, and what accelerated that, um, what drove acceptance, what drove technology. And it was always racing. If you go back far enough, the first application is always racing. 